Hi students, today we are going to see Gauss-Seidel method. So in this Gauss-Seidel method, how proceed Gauss-Seidel using calculator? Okay, so in the Gauss-Seidel method, Gauss-Seidel method is working on the Right? So I will take one question. Solve by Gauss-Seidel method, 6x plus 3y plus 12z is equal to 35 and 8x minus 33y plus 2z equal to 20 and 4x plus 11y minus z equal to 33. Three equations are there. So first we have to check that equations are diagonally dominant. What is mean by diagonally dominant? That coefficient of x, y, z. We take the coefficient of x, y, z. We create one matrix. So in the diagonal element only the diagonal dominant means what? The diagonal element is greater 1. So by 8, if check for first equation so first given equation is not diagonally dominant so we have to rearrange that so by 8x minus 3y plus 2z so first element here greater we choose in first equation and second equation is see here second element coefficient of y is greater so we take a second one and third one 12 z this one is greater so we take it as third one so now the given equation is diagonally dominant so in the equation uh, we create that x that in terms of pattern x value, y value, z value we have to find. So first equation and then we have to write x value. What is mean by that? 20 minus 3y convert into right hand side means plus 3y minus 2z. Then 8x equal to these terms. Then x converted to that side means 1 by 8. So similarly y and z. So now we have x is equal to 1 by 8 into this term y equal to 1 by 11 into this term and z equal to 1 by 12 into this term. So using this equation we have to find the values of x, y, z. Okay. Now we are going to see using calci. So normal method we So see how we can use calci. See here. So if x, y, z is equal to 1. I will create one table. Okay. So, by table, le, first we have what is the condition Gauss serial method? Le, first initial y value and z value equal to 0 under the, we have to assume that. So, so I will take that calci fx 991ms. So, calci is put wrong. So in this, in the three equations we will now we will float the calcium. So first I will take x equal to 1 by 8, 20 plus 33y minus 2z. So instead of x, y, z, I will take a, b, c. Because in this calculator, z is not there. So we take as a, b, c. See here, alpha, in the pink button use the alpha. Alpha. a right alpha a and alpha is equal to calcium button click on that is equal to and 1 by 8 1 by 8 means open the bracket 1 divided by 8 again close the bracket and again open 20 plus 3 instead of y we have to write b and minus 2 again alpha then c Okay, first equation a feed paniyach. So next a second equation a again alpha. Adhikili d by dx button to clear. So panamna colon is there. Then next second equation b. So b alpha is equal to one second alpha b alpha is equal to open the bracket one divided by eleven close the bracket and again open. 33 minus 4 alpha x. X means what here? A plus z. Z means c. Close the bracket. Second equation so feed much. Again alpha colon. Then last third equation. C is equal to open the bracket. 1 divided by 12. Close the bracket and again open 35 minus 6. X means a minus 3 y means b okay so now three equations fit paniyach 
So, now we will the values. Okay, here, what is that initial value? I said no. Initial value y is equal to 0 and z equal to 0. See here. So, first, using calci b value. b means what? Here, we have to write one sec. x means a y means b and z means c. Okay. See here. b value. Initial value is what? 0. Initial value b value 0 and c value also 0. See here. What is a value? First value is 2.5. This is first iteration. First iteration value 2.5. And next again x value B value 2.0909. Okay. Then C value 1.1439. Okay. So first iteration over. In second iteration, again B value 2.90 automatically will come. Then C value second iteration. So, you continue in the equal to button. Add the iteration. We have to write that. See here. Second iteration is 2.998 Then B value is 2.01377 And next 0.91417 Again, B, C, third iteration. So, in the way, continue as a, in the portion of A display agar var modu, and the points in our note pundi ke 266, then B value is 1.9825, and C value is 0.9077. Okay. Next, another one, this is fourth iteration, 3.0165, one point nine eight five six and zero point nine one two. Next fifth iteration that is three point zero one six six. Then B value is one point nine eight. 59 then c value 0 0.9118 then next c pause please okay okay yeah so this is sixth iteration value 3.01676 then b value is 1.98589 and C value is 0 0.9118. Then next iteration. So, we will equal value. Right? So, 3.0167. Then 0 0.9118. Then 0 0.9118. Then 0.9118. See the 6th and 7th iteration. Both having the same values, no? 0, 0, 0.167, 9858, here 0 0.9118. So, in this iteration, 6 and 7 are equal. Therefore, the x value is what? 3.0167 and y value is 1.9858 and z value is 0 0.9118. Right? So, this is the gauss Edel method. Calculator use for me. If you solve it. So, this is very easiest one. Okay. So, next sum we will discuss in the next class. Okay. Thank you.